latest on Tropical Storm Florence, the beast that is now gradually weakening, still with winds of 70 miles per hour and a pressure of 975 at 33.9 north, 79 degrees west. Whilst much weaker than previously, it's still delivering lots of rainfall over the Carolinas and causing severe flooding, with water rescues being performed all day long. It's uh, still a stage 3 on the CDPS. To give you reference, that's still the same as Hurricane Hermine when it made landfall in 2016. It's 5 miles from Conway, 16 from Myrtle Beach, 48 from Florence, 117 from Columbia and 138 from Charlotte. That's the current position estimate of the storm. A tropical storm warning still in effect for Edisto Beach to Cape Hatteras right now and there is a storm surge warning for a smaller area, Myrtle Beach to Salvo and the Pamlico Sound. That's the latest warnings, we can finally read them all out in the allotted time and you can see this is what's expected from the model, the GFS. Over the weekend the storm continuing to push inland, gradually weakening to minimal tropical storm status, turning post-tropical by the end of the weekend could still deliver a significant rain to parts of Ontario, Canada, as far north as there even, as well as the states of the United States in between and the northeastern coast as well, moving off towards the northeast, eventually becoming frontal or post-tropical, whatever it's doing over there. Extratropical cyclone looks very broad by the middle of next week as it moves off into the far north Atlantic. Uh, sea surface temperatures remain relatively unchanged, not much to talk about when it comes to that, but if we look out maybe for the next storm, uh, they're still warm, I'm afraid to say, in the Gulf Stream, so it hasn't taken much of a dent for a future storm, maybe, but it is nothing on the forecast, so uh, nothing to do with that for now. Uh, but you can see the storm moving inland, the wind field, uh, these graphics are really, uh, you know, uh, redundant to be honest, because uh, these are mainly for watching the storm coming in, but you can actually see later on in that loop there um, a massive extra tropical transition for the storm. Look how huge that gets throughout the middle of the week. That is to do with Florence later on, post-tropical, but moving way out, very large. These are chance of tropical storm force winds still, um, including a few inland locations here. Wilmington 99%, as well as Myrtle Beach, 56 in Charleston, 25 in Charlotte, and 4 in Norfolk. Uh, the percentage chance is around 10 to 20 percent as far north as Kentucky perhaps and into West Virginia. Uh, and this is the weakening trend that we are looking at right now. The storm continuing on that weakening trend. The sooner the better. Um, the 16th by the looks of things it will finally lose tropical storm conditions, tropical storm characteristics. Uh, as wind shear begins to rise and of course the land interaction is going to get to it. There's no sea to give the storm its precious energy and you can see the track forecast on the left hand side and it does take it out very quickly off towards the northeast eventually um, back out to sea but won't redevelop thankfully. So this is what the storm has been looking at in recent frame, have been looking like in recent frames I should say on the satellite imagery. It's looking very bare now. Uh, a typical example of how a storm looks after it's moved inland. This transition has been occurring a lot slower than usual because the storm is so close to the coast even so, even now. And it is still just off hurricane strength. It's still got winds of 70 miles per hour. Still dangerous conditions out there. And those flooding conditions are even worse a tale to talk about. Flash flood warnings in effect for many counties in North Carolina. You can follow Force 13's outlets, the website force13.com with the latest. You can also find our YouTube page, you're probably there already, but if not, subscribe if you haven't so far. You can also find our Facebook page, Force 13 all in text, and it's at Force 13 on Twitter if you'd like to get in touch with us on there. You can also help the project become even better by enjoying the benefits of patronage. You can find out more information about how to become a patron and what those benefits are at patreon.com forward slash force13. You can also check out the Force 13 live feed. We've been running it for nearly eight days now and we will continue to do so for a few more hours at least until tomorrow morning we expect youtube.com forward slash force13 forward slash live.